Here on The Mark White Show, we're finding ways to make a difference, and we're looking for opportunities to make an impact on our communities. Whether in Alabama, across the country, or around the world, we can all make a difference. And it starts by taking that first step. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Because only Bojangles puts tailgate-ready fresh, never frozen, honey barbecue or buffalo bone-in wings with fall-off-the-bone juiciness right in the pocket. The only way to make these wings any better? With some made-from-scratch buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. So let the quarterback do the throwing, you do the winning. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Bojangles, it's bow time. With a house surrounded by pine trees planted in 1961, April and I knew it was time to do something about it. So we called James Paul. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience, along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. My wife and I sat down with Harlan Mitchell and discussed our own estate planning needs. I know in our experience, Harlan brought up questions that caused us to think about our current situation and what we need to do moving forward. When you sit down with Harlan for your free consultation, you're going to find out things that you may have not thought about when it comes to estate planning. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884 and schedule your free consultation today. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. This old world is full of hurt and pain A little sunshine and a whole lot of rain it don't take much to drive those clouds away Let's all do something good today You never know what someone's going through Don't underestimate what you can do A friendly smile's a tiny price to pay Let's all do something good today Folks, you heard her this morning on the Make a Difference Minute as she talked about decisions. And I love these positive, encouraging, inspiring messages that Coach Marla Townsend sends me. And I hope you enjoy them too because I want to do a lot more of them. I believe that we need encouragement and inspiration in our life. Marla and I were talking just before the show about repetition and the importance of having positive repetition, good repetition, because obviously we can have negative repetition too. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Coach Marla Townsend. Hey, thank you so much for having me. Always glad to have you. And as I mentioned, we want to try to encourage people through the Mark White Show. I hope that this show does help uplift people because there are a lot of people across the board who are having a difficult time in various ways. And I think the one thing we can do is to let them know that there are things that they can do and that there are doors of opportunity It's just a matter of having the right mindset. Absolutely. So everything that we need is inside of us. And as soon as we realize that, when we wake up in the morning, we see the positive. We see the sun coming up. We see a new opportunity. And when I say we have it inside of us, we just got to find it. We've got to find that inner self. We've got to have positive self-talk. We've got to put ourselves in situations that are positive environments that are going to help us grow, help us realize that, yes, sometimes we're going to get knocked to the mat, but it's not just about getting up, but it's how quick you can get up. And every single day, we're given an opportunity every single day, and I pray that we make the most of it. Coach, you've had an incredible opportunity in your life to be able to have an impact on young people. 
and you and I both know that 2020 was a very difficult time, especially for young people as they missed out on some opportunities that they normally would be able to be involved in. And I think that this year is a time to start allowing them to climb out a little bit and to be able to enjoy some of those things. And, you know, once that's over, it's over. But, you know, you look in the past and say, well, we didn't get to do this. We didn't get to do that. You know, you didn't. But moving forward, you have to be able to find those new opportunities and not stay down and say, well, what was me because I didn't get to do this last year. Yeah. And so listen, look at it like this. Children start in kindergarten and they advance through first grade, through second grade. And we challenge them. Middle school is a challenge. High school is a challenge. If we can look back and look at 2020, is that is a step in the process of life, in the education of life. And if we can learn from everything that we experienced in 2020 and grow from it, and yes, get back out when you can and be in a safe environment, but yet realize that it's different. Life will never be the same as before. But that can be a positive thing. That can be the greatest thing that can lead us to unknown paths, unknown opportunities, help us to meet our desires and our dreams. And that right there, if we can look at it as, yes, it was a challenge and so many didn't survive. But for those that didn't survive, we owe it to them to improve the world that we live in, our community, our state, our country. And we can do that. As a coach, you coached a specific team. You had a team of players that you were there to coach, and I believe that being the founder of Empower You, you've now extended and broadened your reach, your ability to reach people through this special nonprofit organization. Yes, so Empower You was set up so I can take everything that I learned from some of the most successful student athletes, and I'm talking about the mental game how they dealt with adversity, their time management, the teamwork atmosphere. And I take that into schools and talk, not athletic related, but to talk to everyone. And so 2020, obviously, there was no going into schools. And so I turned it into doing a lot of individual, some one-on-one Skype, one-on-one videos, FaceTime, and then also small groups. And now that we're looking and we're scheduling the fall opportunities that we have to get back in the school setting, but continuing to do that individual group, that small group, the team, whatever it is, and really working with them and helping them realize that the sooner that you get your mental mindset stronger and under control, the more you're going to be able to advance and do it in a positive manner, being able to influence those around you. Showing leadership, not just leadership to others, but leadership to yourself. And I'm so looking forward to getting back in the schools in August and September and really working with our students and the faculty as well. Coach, we come from a different time, and so technology has advanced. (laughs) How has that been for you to be able to utilize that technology over the past year? It has been wonderful, but I can get on it in one minute. I think that I've been on it for like a minute and all of a sudden it's been an hour, but I love it. I love working with and just putting the thoughts out there, but I love sharing with people, especially things that have influenced me. And we talked about the sayings like be where your feet are. And I could hear that every single day and take it into light and take it and really apply it to my life because we can sit there and dwell on the past and dwell on mistakes that we've made. But yet that doesn't affect us. We've changed, we've learned, we've moved on. Where our feet are today is what's most important. Yes, positive experiences in our lives, they've created success. They've created confidence. But if we can take those, maybe those areas of life that we didn't get the results that we wanted, and we can turn that into something positive, and we do that by being where your feet are. So we look at quotes, and we look at motivational statements, and we can actually use those. And every time we hear them, I hope that they help us reflect on a positive experience in our life. You know, Coach, you mentioned just a few minutes ago that you not only talk to those who are athletes, but those who are non-athletes when you go and speak through Empower You. And, of course, you have a solid background in athletics, but when it comes to those who are not in athletics, there has to be a message for them too. And one of the things that 
at Lauderdale County High School, where I graduated from, the principal, Casey Tate, just put in place the Academic Booster Club, and the Mark White Show is going to be a sponsor of that. And I like that because we don't want to leave anyone out when it comes to encouraging and inspiring because everybody has their own talents and their own abilities, and we need to be able to show where each person can succeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And find what you're passionate about. That's the key. Because when you're passionate about something, then you're going to give and you're going to devote, devote time and really be disciplined in that area. And it, that's what it's about. It's, and everybody, every child, regardless where they are academically, I hope that they find that passion. And that's why teachers are so incredible because we're not comparing one child to another. Where you're at. And then where you want to be and how you're going to get there. And that's why teachers make a difference. And that, that is a great program that's starting up there. And I guarantee you other people will be following in their shoes. I tell you, if I had been compared to other students when I was in school, I wouldn't have the Mark White show right now. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, that's, and, and, and you think back and you know teachers. You know teachers that have influenced you and challenged you. And then even there's some, honestly, to be honest, there's some teachers that really – motivate their students by really they didn't believe in them and that motivation that internal motivation actually can take somebody and challenge them and they look at it and they look at their path they may take a different path than other traditional students and that is okay and that's where when I go into schools and I see I see someone that I can tell that they're in the art world and then someone that's music and then athletic and just all the different areas that I see in one classroom. And if we can respect each other and really just believe in each other and believe in ourselves, there's no limit as to how great we can be and how much we can influence our young children. You know, humanity is a remarkable creation. And when we think about the fact that someone can give us negativity, they can verbally abuse us or do things to us that can affect our psyche and as human beings, we do have the ability to take that negativity and turn it into a positive. I think that for some people, getting over that hill where they can actually take the criticism that they're getting and be able to turn it into a positive is the key, especially a younger person. If they hear it when they're young, very young, they hear those negative terms, they hear those criticisms, and they don't ever learn the skill of being able to turn that into a positive for them. I think that's a key element for people to learn, to be able to find how to turn that into something as a success for them. Absolutely. That's one of the first things that I like to talk with my athletes about. How do you like to be coached? Because you got, you honestly have some that need to be patted on the back and they need to be supported and told time and time. I like the way you're doing this. I like the way you're doing this. But then there's some that really want you to challenge them, and they want you to get in their face when they don't do things the way that you expect things to be done. And so if you take that and apply it to life in general, have those conversations with our children. What is it that you – how do you? How are you motivated? And then they learn so much about themselves as well as us as their parents, us as their community support, the teachers, they learn what motivates them. And then you're really talking about something that's so important is inner motivation. What drives you? What is it that you can do successful and that you want to do in the big, down the road? What is it and how are you going to get there? We talk about roadmap. We talk about GPS. Everybody uses GPS now. Well, when you make a turn and you make a wrong turn, the so GPS does not say, that's it, turn it off. You're never getting to your destination. What does it do? It reroutes you. And if we can have a GPS in life that we've learned so much from, that we can really realize that if we make a bad decision, how we deal with it and how we respond is what we want to see as a person, but it's what others want to see in us. We make so many mistakes, but if we can respond and become a better person because of that, and, you know, that's where we talk about the inexpensive experiences, expensive experiences. If I know that there's a speed trap set up somewhere because my friend went through there and had received a ticket and had to pay that ticket, well, not only is it an expensive life experience, 
but it's expensive monetary experience. But we can learn from others. We can learn from others. And the inexpensive experience is where we learn from others. But expensive is where we ourselves make mistakes and then hopefully others learn from us. I'm not sure how my listening audience feels about this, but school is right around the corner. (laughs) So people better get ready for the new school year. And I'm thinking specifically about Empower You and the fact that you are going into schools and that there is an opportunity for schools to have coach Marla Townsend join them. And I want to talk about that in the next segment, if you'll stick with me. Absolutely. All right, folks, right now we're talking to coach Marla Townsend. She's the former coach for the UAB softball team and currently the founder of empower you. We're going to continue this conversation when we come back. I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to the Mark White show. A pat on the back, a big old hug, a little laugh. We can make a difference. All we have to do is try. Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life. Let's all do something good today. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russellville. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Located in Tuscumbia, Alabama, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame honors Alabama's music achievers. You can even go into the recording studio and try out your talents as a singer. That's the Alabama Music Hall of Fame located at 617 Highway 72 West in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 256-381-4417. Check them out on the web at alamhof.org. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau A-plus member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe at supportive surroundings. The Saul Biblical Foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. He drives into the city Works extra hard all day Finishes up early So he can get away Cause there's a blue-eyed kid on second base Wants dad to watch him play Welcome back to the Mark White Show. I am your host, Mark White, and I'm so glad that you decided to join us today. And I think that that's a good decision. This morning, you heard Coach Marla Townsend on the Mark White Show, Make a Difference Minute, as she talked about choices and decisions. And right now, I do have Coach Marla Townsend on the line with me. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Coach. Thank you. I love Empower You. I love the fact that you have taken your experience and are now using it to talk to students in the schools. And yes, there are going to be some adults around too that are listening that are going to need that. Teachers need encouragement. Those who are part of the staff, the administration, they all need encouragement. And that doesn't stop just because we're a student. But I'm so very glad 
that you have taken this on to found Empower You and to go to our schools and speak to our young people? Well, I love it. And one of my favorite memories from one of the last times I was in the school pre-COVID was I'd asked the administration, I said, hey, can you get someone from the yearbook staff to come in and just take pictures for me? Provided the camera and she came in, took pictures. And this was a great group. I'm talking just a great group of people. Maybe they didn't meet the standards that they are supposed to meet as intended the previous year, but we were motivating them and offering, enticing them to really be here, be when you're supposed to be. So the young lady took pictures and, uh, I, you know, told her thank you at the end. She hung around. Everybody else had left the room and she hung around and I saw that look in her eyes and I walked up and I said, I want to tell you again, thank you so much. And she looked at me with teary eyes and said, thank you. I needed this message today more than ever. And I left that room so fired up because she was there, not in the group that I was speaking to, but to help me. And she was able to grow and maybe see some positive reinforcement and remind her about all the things that she needed were inside of her. And it was a special day. I'll never forget it. Coach, I know that we don't need negative messages very often negative messages pull us down but i don't know of a time when a positive encouraging message is not needed it's an opportunity to share with people to lift them up when you don't know what's going on in their life just like that photographer you don't know what's happening with her personally you can see the tears coming from her eyes and of course that's a clue but you still don't know what she's going through and the fact that you had a message that encouraged her. Now, if you had gotten up there and you, the sky is falling, you gave a negative message, you wouldn't have had tears from her eyes. Well, you may have had tears from her eyes, but it'd be a different, it'd be a different type of, of tears. So the message that you gave is the right message to try to encourage people and inspire people with positive messages, not the negativity. If we could treat everyone the way that they deserve to be treated. Think about what an amazing, amazing world we would live in. From regardless of your everyday activities, the mail person, the person that collects the trash, the community convenience store worker, everybody that we cross paths with. And that's what I love about the South. You're going to give them a smile and you're going to say, hi, how are you? And they're going to respond in the eye contact that you have. You never know. You never know what experience someone has just went through. You never know that you might be the person that changes their life and points them in the right direction. And that's why we need to be that type of person. We need to be that type of family where we really encourage each other. Take time. Put the electronics down. Look in the eyes of your family and listen to them and give them positive feedback and take a walk in the woods. Do something. That's going to give them your undevoted time. And yes, parents have to work, but make it a point that when you come in to encourage them to go outside and throw a ball with them or just go for a walk or do something together. And I promise you, you're going to get the best feedback ever. And it's called love. And we need to really, really look at and focus on how we treat others. And as you know, coach, the technology can be habit forming and it can actually turn into an addiction for people. So it is baby steps and it's deciding that, Hey, I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to go walk around the block or I'm going to go toss a ball, as you mentioned, and finding those things to pull us away from the technology and get away from those bad habits because they can turn into very negative, bad habits if we're not careful. Well, you think about it. What does people put on social media? They put the best of the best and they have filters and they want you to see the best. They want you to see what they want you to see. So listen, this what, when you look at the phone, yeah, you're going to see all this positive. And then if you get caught up in comparing yourself with what others have and where others are and what they're doing in their new house and their new vehicle and all that, that can't help but really put a burden on our youth. And so that's the first thing that I say when I walk into an Empower You session. And I said, take your cell phone out. Take your mobile phone out. Hold it up. 
I said, that device is for information only. You can look on there and you can find definitions. You can find history. There's so much on, there's so much information in that small phone. But then I tell them, it is never for emotions and feelings. And they're different, emotions and feelings. That would be another, another time that we talk about the difference in those two. But that's, it's not for emotions and it's not for feelings. And they've got to learn that. And by really bringing that to their attention, it takes them to a place where they remember those emotions and those feelings that they came across when they were looking at something. And so we challenge them really have a plan. Yeah, use it, but have a limited usage. And families, have a time where you're at dinner where you don't have a cell phone. Have a time that you take daily and really just reflect and talk to each other and get to know each other apart from the phone. I definitely want to get you into as many schools as possible, Coach, and this is a great opportunity for you to share about Empower You and how people can connect, especially those who are decision makers in the school system who can reach out to you and bring Empower You to their schools to encourage their students and faculty alike. And I love it. And we're setting it up. It's empoweryou.org, and we would love for people to come reach out and set up opportunities And I travel around the state, I travel around the southeast, and like I said, not only schools, I work with uh, individuals and work with small groups as well. And just really look forward to, to sharing my passion for helping others. Coach, I get a lot of encouragement through doing this show and speaking to people like yourself. I can't imagine what it's like for you to go out there and to share your experiences, to share your knowledge, and then have a response from people that you're working with, a positive response. It's just a rewarding experience, isn't it? It really is. In fact, I was going through, I was at a softball tournament with my daughter and going through a drive through at one of the areas that I spoke. And the drive through young lady, eyes lit up. She said, you just spoke at my school last week. And that right there, it, it encourages me because I said something, hopefully, that she's going to remember. Now, my wish is, and I see this and I hear this from families, that they go back to their families and they share what they learned. And then I see it on social media posts where they're posting something positive. And I love it. And that's what it's about. It's about touching lives and really helping bring out the best and helping other people see the best in them. It's always a pleasure to have you here on the Mark White Show. And I'm looking forward to more positive messages as we encourage people around us, as we encourage our community, our neighbors, our family, our friends, all these people who we dearly love and we want the very best for them. And I believe that sharing these messages can make a difference in their life. And I'm so looking forward to more positive, encouraging messages from you, Coach. Well, thank you. And thank you for everything that you do. And and one more note is that be kind to everyone. Reach out. Tell people what you like about them, what you admire about them, and even the people that you think they have it all together because they need to hear something. And I promise you, when you do that and you give that positive feedback, it's going to come back to you and you're going to realize it and you're going to appreciate it. Folks, Coach Marla Townsend, former coach of UAB softball and the founder of Empower You. I do want you to go check out Empower You, empoweru.org. That's E-M-P-O-W-E-R, the letter U.org. Also follow Empower You on Facebook, Coach, always a pleasure. Looking forward to hearing from you again before too long. All right. Take care. Thank you so much. All right, folks. You know, here on the Mark White Show, we're recognizing difference makers and sharing their stories to encourage and inspire us all to make a difference where we can. If you are encouraged and inspired by the Mark White Show, I want you to share this show with your family, your friends, your neighbors. Let them know about the Mark White Show and what we're doing to make a difference in our communities. I want you to also follow the Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And subscribe to the Mark White Show podcast via Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audio Boom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, YouTube, and TuneIn Radio. You have been listening to another edition of the Mark White Show, and this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Who live and love in my These are my kind of people.
Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. Howdy, y'all. This is Wiggles with Wiggles World in Texas. And I just wanted to remind y'all, no matter what age you are, you can always make a difference. A little smile can brighten up anybody's day no matter what. You're listening to The Mark White Show. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Because only Bojangles puts tailgate-ready fresh, never-frozen, honey barbecue or buffalo bone-in wings with fall-off-the-bone juiciness right in the pocket. The only way to make these wings any better? With some made-from-scratch buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. So let the quarterback do the throwing, you do the winning. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Bojangles, it's bow time. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. With a house surrounded by pine trees planted in 1961, April and I knew it was time to do something about it. So we called James Paul. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. You hear me, people, when I say, well, let's all do something good today. 